Mr. LaForge, have you had any success with your attempts at finding a weakness in the Borg? And Mr. Data, have you been able to access their command pathways? Yes, Captain. In fact, we found the answer by searching through our archives on late 20th century computing technology. What the hell is Microsoft? Allow me to explain. We will send this program, for some reason called Windows, through the Borg command pathways. Once inside the root command unit, it will begin consuming system resources at an unstoppable rate. But the Borg have the ability to adapt. Won't they alter their processing systems to increase their storage capacity? Yes, Captain. But when Windows detects this, it creates a new version of itself known as an upgrade. The use of resources increases exponentially with each iteration. The Borg will not be able to adapt quickly enough. Eventually all their processing ability will be taken over none will be available for their normal operational functions. Excellent work. This is even better than that unsolvable geometric shape idea. Captain, we have successfully installed the Windows in the Borg's command unit. As expected, it immediately consumed 85% of all available resources. However, we have not received any confirmation of the expected upgrade. Our scanners have picked up an increase in Borg storage and CPU capacity, but we still have no indication of an upgrade to compensate for their increase. Data, scan the history banks again and determine if there is something we have missed. Sir, I believe there is a reason for the failure in the upgrade. Apparently the Borg have circumvented that part of the plan by not sending in their registration cards. Captain, we have no choice. Requesting permission to begin emergency escape sequence 3F. Wait, Captain. Their CPU capacity has suddenly dropped to 0%. Data, what do your scanners show? Apparently the Borg have found the internal Windows module named Solitaire, and it has used up all available CPU capacity. Let's wait and see how long this Solitaire can reduce their functionality. Geordi, what is the status of the Borg? As expected. The Borg are attempting to re-engineer to compensate for increased CPU and storage demands. But each time they successfully increase resources I have set up our closest deep space monitor beacon to transmit more Windows modules from something called the Microsoft Fun Pack. How much time will that buy us? Current Borg solution rates allow me to predict an interest time span of 6 more hours. Captain, another vessel has entered our sector. Identify. It appears to have markings very similar to the Microsoft logo. This is Admiral Bill Gates of the Microsoft flagship Monopoly. We have positive confirmation of unregistered software in this sector. Surrender all assets and we can avoid any trouble. You have 10 seconds to comply. The alien ship has just opened its forward hatches and released thousands of memoid shaped objects. Magnify forward viewer on the alien craft. My god, Captain. Those are human beings floating straight toward the board ship with no life support suits. How can they survive the tortures of deep space? I don't believe that those are humans, sir. If you will look closer I believe you will see that they're carrying something recognized by 21st century man as doe skin leather briefcases and wearing Armani suits. Lawyers. It can't be. All the lawyers were rounded up and sent hurtling into the sun in 2017 during the Great Awakening. True, but apparently some must have survived. They have surrounded the Borg ship and are covering it with all types of papers. I believe that is known in ancient vernacular as red tape. It often proves fatal. They're tearing the Borg to pieces. Turn the monitors off. Data, I can't bear to watch. Even the Borg doesn't deserve such a gruesome death. 